Hello friends, welcome to Azure uh, video tutorials and uh, today's session I am going to start with the PySpark installation on Windows system. So if you have a local uh, desktop or laptop uh, that Windows one. So if you want to practice a PySpark in your local uh, desktop or laptop. So you can install this PySpark on your local system. So instead of going to Azure Cloud or AWS, so it is a, again uh, uh, sometimes you will get a free sometimes you have to pay more amount instead of that you can go for directly simply for practicing a learning uh, perspective uh, so how to install PySpark in your local uh, desktop as in windows operating system so for that you need a, a few uh, software other installations before installing uh, apache spark so let's look at this video so uh, in this uh, screen uh, first we need to install java 1.7 or 1.8 any of the versions we can download from oracle website so it is available uh, free so you can download and uh, have already uh, download and install here so you can install in program files but normally whenever you are using java it won't be any issue but jdk it won't be an issue but jre like uh, sometimes you will face these issues because of this path uh, programs space files are there right so whenever you are giving a environment variables path that time you will face issues so better to create a new path instead of installing in program files you can install in here create any folder java folder so i have installed here jdk uh, 1.7 and 1.8 both is available but uh, you have to set the environment variables later i will show you how to set that so once you're done with the uh, java installation next you have to install with uh, anaconda so Anaconda is available latest version you can download Anaconda 3 uh, it's available in the uh, same uh, website Anaconda website and for Windows 64-bit uh, uh, you can download if it is 64-bit your operating system then it's at uh, 10 to 15 minutes it will take a complete installation but uh, there is no much configuration directly wizard based next next directly you can install that so these two softwares there is no much configurations and uh, third one once you are done with uh, anaconda so you will be getting this uh, if you search anaconda here anaconda prompt anaconda navigator both you will get so i will show you how to use this uh, anaconda prompt later then next you have to download apache spark so if you want to install apache spark you have to download from website latest uh, from apache spark website it's a open source so once you are down once you are done with the download this is a zip file you will get so you can create a, in a c directory any of the directory your own customized name so i am creating with the pyspark but you can create any name just go to c directory so i have downloaded this file So I have created directory here. So copy this and extract here. So you can use a, uh, any any extractor any extractor you can use. So directly I'm extracting here. Seven zip or anything you can use extractor. So, but yeah. Uh, so windows you will it will be default ex exported as a folder so keep the same folder name you no need to change anything so once it's done you can delete this uh, zip file again uh, it's a winrar file it's not required uh, because we have already extracted so okay so if you go to here there are uh, directories available uh, this is the major directory bin directory where uh, it is available all uh, PySpark and other commands uh, spark and PySpark related commands and once it is done extraction everything is done there is another one called uh, windows utilities so you have to download this uh, so you can uh, go to google and uh, windows utilities you can download that exe file it is available in uh, github okay this link you can search in google you will get that so once you download that exe file you can copy into bin folder so so 
So I have already another uh, earlier downloaded one which I already configured earlier in bin. Yeah, this one. So this download utilities file you have to copy into your Apache bin directory because all executables will be available here. It's done. See, first we install Java, then install Anaconda. So Apache installation, there is no direct installation process, but you have to download and extract in any one of the customized folder. You can name any name. You can name it your own name. So there is no issues. So this is the third one. This also we are not installing, just downloading and uh, uh, keeping into bin directory in Spark. Okay. Then fifth one is we have to set all these environment variables. We have to set all this environment variables set java home spark home hadoop home the hadoop home uh, whenever you are setting this home directory means without bin directory so mean don't include bin directory here so until this 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 path is for both spark home and hadoop home then others are uh, related to path these are the three paths we have to set so path always until this bin directory if you look at here so uh, jdk bin directory and how to like uh, this spark uh, bin directory and there is another one called windows system 32 so this one if you're not setting this one you will get a frequently issues because of that windows utility so we need to set this one also in path once that is done, so let's set an environment variable, system and environment variables. Yeah, yeah. So go to environment variables. So here, system one we have to set. Uh, so existing one, I am changing this. See here, this we created a new directory. So don't include bin directory here, Hadoop home and the Java home. This is the same one Windows 8. This is Java home. And let us set that and the Spark home. So change this, our latest folder. This then go to path. So third one is a path. So if you look at here, Windows 32 is already I said that and this park one we need to set because this is old one okay so go to end semicolon so everything will be separated by semicolon here here we need to include bin that's of so all paths are done see here so this you have to set environment variables that's a system environment variables so you have to set this all then only it will work so once those are done now anyway we have installed anaconda so open anaconda prompt So norm, normally you can directly click, but uh, better to open with administrative user because uh, the privileges and other part, this Anaconda. So we need to uh, install this, find Spark. So for Jupyter Notebook, uh, if you want to open Jupyter Notebook, once this is done, so you can use this one for Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Notebook. So it will open Jupyter Notebook. So this packages is uh, setting for your uh, uh, Jupyter.
So if you open this one, it will start a Jupyter Notebook. Then, so where we can open a PySpark? So where we can start that? So before starting PySpark, there is other activity. So for, uh, we need to create one directory, any of the temp directory for uh, logs. So see, so here I have created this and you have to use that uh, Windows utility command to grant that. So this is the URL for your uh, token, uh, this token key also token is available and this is the URL for your uh, note, uh, notebook if you want to run any commands you can run there. I will show you next. So this one Windows utility so we need to run this one in a command prompt. Directly you can run Anaconda or command prompt, Any, anything you can use that. Sorry, we need to change that path because uh, it is available in this directory. So Windows utility is available in this directory, right? So we need to change that path. Yes. Now. So if you run this one, you will get a response like this. Your my system and everything you will get response like this. Okay, and date my system and everything. So this is done. Then final thing. So open Anaconda, uh, another one. This is for Jupiter one, but another one for PySpark. So we need to start the server, right? So if you set the, all the environment variables, then you, you, you won't be facing any issues. So those are very uh, uh, like a minute thing you have to consider that uh, paths should be correct. Okay. Then change this directory to So you can check that Python version. So this is the Python version. It is available latest version because Anaconda with, uh, we install right. So default you will get with the Python. Then you can start this. So we are starting this PySpark. So you can open the Jupyter this the URL. It's a local host because uh, this local system. And when once you open that, it will ask that token or directly you can copy this complete URL with the token. So it's not copying complete one. Let's only copy this one. just uh, making a single line because when we are copying this it should not miss with the token so just you have to use this URL
Okay. So open here, this is a Jupyter URL. It's, it's uh, response is taking longer time. Just to reload this. This is a URL which we are uh, accessing in Jupyter. There you can create a, any notebook and you can run the queries. So there we can verify that. So click on new and create a notebook. This is a notebook. So here just control enter or you can there is an option called run button. So whichever current window you are there, so that will be executed. Then if you want to create a new command here, you can create a new command. For example, I want to create a spark contest here. So if you are using a Databricks, so default uh, it will be available, but here is a standalone. So that's why we need to uh, create a spark context uh, manually so like this the spark context has been created and you can run uh, any other commands like uh, you want to get the type for this sc so it will display the type this is a spark context and you want to get the help this is the complete help uh, it will give you the manual you want to get the directory means a list of uh, uh, available functions and everything you can see here okay spark form spark user spark start time status tracker these are all the functions available methods available in this so like this we can use any other commands so directory will give the complete information about that help will give the notes so this is the way we can go for configuring a Pi Spark in local system. So thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel. Thank you very much.